Hi, this is John Oakes with LogicBlogger.com and in this video we're going to talk about one of my favorite topics which is how to monetize your WordPress blog. I'm going to give you some examples and I'm going to show you a couple of plugins that I personally love and use and have found to be real time savers and being able to really make money using your blog. So the first thing we're going to talk about is of course one of the most popular options for monetizing a blog and that is Google AdSense. Now, Google AdSense is Google's advertising program where they allow you to display ads on your website in return for a small amount of revenue each time someone clicks on an ad that's being published on your blog. So you do need to become an actual AdSense account holder in order to use that system, but it is free to join. You can just simply go to adsense.google.com and sign up for a free account. Once you've been approved for a free account, and I'll, I'll add that in order to get approved, you need to probably have already created your blog and have at least maybe one or two quality posts on it so that they will approve you as a qualified publisher. So once you have that account, we're going to talk about the tool that I like to use uh, to really save a lot of time and be able to properly display Google AdSense ads on your blog in the desired locations. So let's quickly flip over here to the main page of our example blog. And you can see that so far we've just got a couple of blog posts on here and we have not done anything yet to monetize this blog. So what we want to do is display some Google AdSense ads in some prominent locations on this blog and on each post in order to really be able to maximize the click-throughs and display relevant ads for the content that we currently publish. Uh, so our content, as you can see, is about collecting world coins. We have a blog post here on the top 10 most expensive world coins, and then a blog post that we put up in the beginning of this example uh, blogging workshop, which was the most notable years of the wheat penny. So what I'd like to do is to be able to display automatically a Google AdSense block at the top of each post, and then maybe a small banner at the end of each post, and then possibly put a block of ads maybe somewhere over here in the sidebar. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And the, the way we're going to do that is by first downloading and installing a plugin that I'll tell you is actually no longer available in the WordPress repository. Luckily for you, I've actually provided a link where you can download it directly out of our training course here. Let's cover the installation process of that. So if we go into our dashboard, and we go into our plugins and we click on add new this time instead of searching on the plugin name because it's no longer available you'll want to actually have already downloaded it from the location in this workshop somewhere on your hard drive and then we're going to go up here and click on upload and we're going to click choose file and browse to the location where you have that zipped file archive uh, sitting on your hard drive and again, that plugin is called Easy Ad Sensor. Once you find that zip file, and you want to leave it zipped, you don't want to unzip it on your hard drive, the system will install and unzip that for you. Once you've done that, click Install Now. And then we're going to go ahead and activate it. And then we're going to go ahead and go down here under Settings, and you'll see now that there is a line item link for Easy AdSense. If you click on that, it's going to take you to the setup page for Easy AdSense. Now, before we get into this, what we're going to do is actually go over to our Google AdSense account. And if you don't have an account yet, you'll want to go ahead and establish one and, uh, and log in and set up a couple of ad units. Now, the first thing we're going to use is what I call a blog lead-in ad. Now, if you haven't set these up yet, I'm not going to cover the setup of that because you can watch the videos uh, and the training provided by Google AdSense to do that. But I like to use a text and image ad block of 300 pixels by 250 pixels. And I found that to be the most responsive to get the best click-throughs at the lead-in of the blog post. So I've already created one of those. And if you want to see what it looks like, I can click on that and it's just simply a 300 by 250 block unit and I'm going to go ahead and get the code for that and you just simply copy and paste the code that Google AdSense provides and that's going to get inputted into your lead-in AdSense text block in the 
Easy AdSense plugin. So I'm going to paste that right in there. Now there's a couple of things we want to do. We want to go ahead and click on yes on the top little uh, notice bar. That's basically just agreeing that our website does conform to Google's terms and conditions. Now on the lead-in AdSense text that we just put an ad into, here we have some settings. So we want it to show up at the beginning of a post. And we want to set it up so that it is aligned left with no wrap. I found that to be the most effective. Now you can change that if you want. It does uh, just simply change the formatting so you can have the text wrap around an image or around a graphic uh, or around your ad. Now for the other ones for now, we're just going to suppress. So I'm going to suppress the mid post ad. That would be an ad that shows up in the middle of your blog post. And then for a lead out ad, we're going to go back to Google AdSense and we're going to grab an end post block. Now what I've named blog end post ad is really a 468 by 60 pixel standard banner ad. So you can create one of those as well. Now when I say create, what that means is you go into Google AdSense, you set up a new ad block, you customize it with whatever colors you want to use for your ad, and then you simply get the code. So we're going to get the code for that, copy it out of there, and we're going to paste it into our lead out ad block. And for that one, we want that to show up uh, aligned at the center at the end of the post. Now over here in the right hand block, these are where you would set up widgets to be displayed uh, and available to you in your widget center. I'm just for now going to go ahead and suppress all these widgets. And now let's go ahead and go through a quick setting uh, overview here towards the bottom, all these different settings. So under option on Google policy, we just leave that to three ad blocks. Google does limit you to three ad blocks per page. And we're going to go ahead and enforce that. Uh, you can choose here under which conditions you want to suppress your AdSense ad blocks. If you don't want it to show up on the front page, you can click that and it will no longer show any of your ads on the front page. I typically do that because I really want the ads to show up when somebody is visiting an individual post. And I've shown that that's where I get the best click throughs. The rest of this you can leave to the default. And then over here on the right side, I like to make sure that you uncheck that box and you move this little radio button down to show no links to my blog anywhere. And then hit save changes. And now we're going to go and visit the blog and see what we've done. Okay, so here on the home page, you can see there are still no ads because we suppressed all our ads on the main page. Now, if we click on one of our blog posts, you'll see that now we've got an ad showing up at the beginning of the post and at the end of the post. So that's what we've done. Now, that'll automatically be applied to every blog post that we currently have on our blog. And so you don't have to worry about it every time you're writing a new post to choose what ads you want to display. Now you can certainly do that on an individual basis, but here we're trying to keep it simple and automate as much as we can. So now what it's going to do is as more time goes by, Google will get a better idea of what the content on your blog post is about, and it will serve up ads that are relevant to the content on your page and that are an interest to the people who are viewing it. So now you can also add additional ad blocks into the sidebar and that could be done through the widgets. So let's shoot back here to our easy AdSense uh, plugin setup. And over here on the right side are the widgets. So let's say that we want to use uh, a large banner widget. So if we go back to our Google AdSense and we grab a sidebar uh, essentially a 160 pixel by 600 pixel uh, sidebar banner ad, which is going to be a vertical banner. And we get the code for that. And we just copy that out of AdSense and into the widget. Let's go ahead and put it in this top one and paste it in. 
and then we'll go ahead and have it aligned to the left. And we'll put no widget title on it. So let's go ahead and save changes. Now, before that's going to be activated, we need to go into our widgets section under appearance. You click on the widgets link. And then you find that specific widget, which would be the, it's going to be the Google AdSense Google Ads. And we just drag that over to the location where we want that displayed. Now, let's see, I'm going to put it right underneath the post categories. Uh, actually, let's put it right underneath the recent posts, right above post categories. And we'll save that there. Now we'll go and visit our blog again. And as we scroll down, we'll see that we now have a banner on the sidebar inserted into the widget. So this gives you a way to very easily and quickly control uh, the different types of ads and different ad units and blocks that show up on your blog pages and posts. You can also choose whether or not you want ads to be displayed on pages or just on posts. So now if we shoot over here and click on the About page, you'll see that it is in fact displaying an ad at the top of the About page. Now if you didn't want that, if you only wanted the ads to be displayed in posts, that's something that is completely customizable, again, in the Easy AdSense plugin setup. So if we go back to Easy AdSense setup, and we scroll down here to the bottom, the bottom left, you have your Suppress Ad Blocks section, and you can choose to display ads on posts only. So if you check this box that says Suppress AdSense Blocks on Pages, so ads are only on posts, click Save Changes, now we go back to our about page and refresh that and now there's no longer an ad displayed there. Now you'll still get the widget because that's going to be across the board on each page. So that concludes uh, using Google AdSense and the Easy AdSense plugin. Uh, in the next video we're going to talk about integrating uh, ClickBank products as well as Amazon.com products into your blog posts and a very easy and super cool tool to make that really fast and easy to do. See you on the next video.